Bill Maher makes Adam Schiff go silent after he asks one question about Trump. Guys, this is gonna be a good video. You're gonna enjoy it. As I'm sure you know, Bill Maher is full of TDS, Trump derangement syndrome. But believe it or not, there are people who are worse than him. Yes, I couldn't believe it either, but it is the case. And you'll see what I mean in a moment here. So guys, it's gonna be a great clip and you're gonna love it. And we're gonna get right into it, but first, everybody. Yes, you know where it's going, don't you? Please be sure you like our video, share it around, and subscribe to the Resist the Mainstream YouTube channel. That way, we can keep bringing you guys more videos. As always, I'm your host, Darian. Let's get into the clip. All right, hi, CNN. Here's our panel. He hosts ESPN's first take in the Stephen A. Smith Show podcast. Stephen A. Smith is over here. And he's a comedian, comedian, writer, and producer whose new series, Ted, is streaming on Peacock. Seth MacFarlane is over here. And the Democratic congressman from California, Adam Schiff. He's going to be the senator from California. Okay. All right, here's what people want to know. What are the panel's thoughts on the jury awarding... Oh, this happened just before we went on the air. The jury awarding E. Jean Carroll $83.3 million in damages in her suit against Donald Trump. Donald Trump. What do we think? Not good, right? This, this, was the, uh, this, this, was the, this was the suit that he got threatened to be thrown out of uh, several times, right? Right. Like, how toxic do you have to be where you're too rude to be on trial for sexual assault? Right. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's true justice. Uh, the only thing he cares about is himself and money, uh, and going after the money is a, is a way to bring about some real justice. Do you think he did it? Yes, I do. <laughs> you do? You think he, you think he ripped her uh, yeah. and burned off Goodman? Yeah. Oh, you think Damn he right. ripped her and burned off Goodman? I have. You can tell Bill Maher doesn't even believe it himself. He is such a prolific Trump hater, but he's sitting there like, yo, these guys are tripping. They don't even, who buys it? Kind of funny. No idea. Here's what I will tell you. It means, <laughs> it means absolutely nothing. Doesn't mean a damn thing. Right. And, and I get tired of people trying to act like it. First of all, the man is running for president of the United States. And part of the reason he's running for it is because he's getting those campaign dollars so he can pick up the money to pay for his legal bills. That's what he's going to do. It's not, he's not going to lose any money. Right. Secondly, it ain't going to be $83.3 million. He'll appeal it. It'll get knocked down. And I'm just getting tired of seeing so much stuff targeted in his direction, but somehow, some way, he still survives. I mean, we're talking about a situation where he's still going to be the GOP nominee. He's still going to be running for president. Your president, Biden, that's the individual that you're going to have to beat. Four indictments, 91 counts. They ain't even bringing up the bankruptcies. They ain't even bringing up this particular issue with this civil case. And When's Joe Biden going to get his indictments? Ha, huh, trick question. He never will. That's not, that's not how it works. Speaking of Biden... I am not digging this Biden inflation, guys, and I'm sure neither are you. That's why I have decided to partner with GoldCo. Why GoldCo? Real simple. Gold has historically been a great hedge against inflation. As the value of the dollar goes down, the value of the gold has historically gone up. If you guys are all interested, you can also roll over your IRA or 401k penalty and tax free. Yes, you heard that right. It is not too good to be true. So head on over to rtmgold.com, guys. You can either go in the description or type it in your web browser, and you can get yourself a free gold kit that'll help you decide what kind of precious metals you might want to invest in because we know it's a big decision once again that's a free kit so guys go on and check out rtmgold.com somehow some way he puts cats to shame because he clearly has more than nine lives <laughs> i mean come on hey, you, know, hey, come, on. You, you, come on you you bring up the the most perfect uh, disparity between these two people it's like he cares about himself he cares about money and you have Joe Biden, who put forth the, the Inflation Reduction Act, which contains climate provisions that are going to probably bear fruit long after he's gone. Mm -hmm. oh, long after yeah, he's gone. Absolutely. What does he have to gain by that? Nothing, except, uh, God forbid I use the word altruism. Seth MacFarlane is such a PC leftist joke, especially for somebody who literally created Family Guy, the most, in many ways, anti-politically correct cartoon you could see on television. And seriously, calling the Inflation Reduction Act altruism? Many estimates have shown that that concoction of policies orchestrated by Joe Biden and his administration will cost the United States almost $1 trillion as it's enacted. Inflation reduction, please. Yeah, well, you know what? Look, um... I don't, I don't share your pessimism about this or your pessimism about the general election. The reason why Joe Biden is going to beat Donald Trump is because at the end of the day, America is going to want a president who is a decent human being, uh, who doesn't, who doesn't shit on other people, um, who has, 
has some uh, interest in the American people, some interest in something beyond himself. I think at the end of the day, people are going to reject mm -hmm. this, this bigoted, divisive figure. Uh, they're going to, they're not going to want to put the country through well, they, four well, they years have, of that. they have every... Biden doesn't hit on other people? Really? So when he calls a voter a horse's ass, or a lying dog-faced pony soldier, or when he calls a reporter a piece of shit, he's not hitting on people? Okay. Uh, time except at one time. Yeah. <laughs> no, really. I mean, yeah. he didn't, he didn't, he, he really lost every election except the 2016. And that, of course, he didn't really win that one either. Yeah, I mean, he did not the popular vote. Right. And I also, you know, I, I don't know whether he did it, but I don't put anything past him. I also think Bergdahl should have better um, security. Has there, has there been, has there been uh, any point in history in which, not to say it's a cult, but has there been any point in history in which the same candidate has been put forth three times in a row, three elections in a row by the same party? Grover Cleveland, he won the first time, lost the second time, ran the third time, and won again. He's a Democrat. Nice try, Seth. Three elections, that's a great question. Three elections in a row. Um, it could have happened with, who's the guy? Teddy Roosevelt. But I guess well, Roosevelt, the, well, yeah. Franklin Roosevelt parties. won but, four elections in a row. So there you go. Yeah, but you know, given well. the circumstances, right? <laughs> what what, what would the circumstances? Like well, there's always I'm, something going on in the country. <laughs> you know, I mean, well, no, really, you, you can't do that. You can't be like, well, there's a war on. You can't, you, we have to stick with right. me. I mean, that doesn't work. Lost it's a, popular, a depression. Stick with me. He lost the popular vote in both elections. But the bottom line is this: I respect the fact that you don't share my pessimism. I truly do. I understand where you're coming from. But I think that's part of the problem. I think the Democratic Party should share my pessimism. I think they should be on high alert. I think they need to, uh, to treat him with the seriousness that it deserves. Because oh, I... you're, you're, have, you're having a lot of faith in the American people. The man did get over 74 million votes. You've got people that are looking at Joe Biden. I'm not going to call him a cognitive mess or anything like that. That's very disrespectful. I would never speak about our president that way. But when you're it's 82 years of age, it's not, it's not offensive to say you're no longer a spring chicken and you don't seem to have the level of five and, and the energy that you want you to have. And so you take that into consideration. You take that into consideration. You can't ignore the fact that this man is a threat. Oh, make no mistake. I take him as serious as a heart attack. Okay. Um, I, I'm optimistic, but but we're going to have to fight tooth and nail. And one of the biggest obstacles we're going to have to overcome is all the efforts to prevent people from voting. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to turn out our people. Uh, we're going to have to work like never before. We're going to have to work like mm -hmm. our democracy is on the line because it damn well is. Right. Uh, and yeah. and I, I don't, so I, I take this as serious as a heart attack. I just interject one thing into this discussion about Trump that we've been having all night. It was a question I was going to ask you. We ran out of time. Sure. The Atlantic put out an article last year, and it was called Separating Sports by X Doesn't Make Sense. Right. And talked about how we separate sports like the WNBA and the other, just because it's just socialization. This is insane. I agree. Okay. That's why people vote for Trump. Mm -hmm. Because there's stuff like that on the left that people just go, uh, I know Trump's horrible. But separating by sports by sex makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. And if you think it doesn't, uh, you can't leave the country. But that's cutting off your nose to spite your face. Uh, okay, okay, okay. okay. No. I'm just, I'm just kidding. According to Seth MacFarlane, being aware of the fundamental realities of human nature itself is cutting off your nose to spite your face. Thinking men are men and women are women, no, you can't do that. That's cutting off your nose to spite your face. This guy's crazy. Not to mention insanely selfish, too. There was an incident all that not long ago where a 17-year-old high school student, a female, was hit in the face and knocked unconscious after a male volleyball player hit a spike. But it doesn't stop there, as if that traumatic injury wasn't bad enough. She's now partially paralyzed and can never play volleyball again. Wow. But you know, ended at according to Seth MacFarlane, no big deal. Yeah. Giving you the answer to the question you're asking all night long. Why do they vote for Donald Trump? It's not always because they like him. No, it's because uh, stuff like that well, is kookier. People, to them. people, and there's lots of. It's kookier than and, trashing the Capitol. What the f it, well, thinking, I, thinking, I, I, think, I, in a way it is. How is it? It's, it's apples and oranges. It's apples and oranges. One is more evil. One is one is more horrible. But thinking that, I mean, what would happen if we combined the WNBA and the NBA? No, please, it was, well, LeBron would go from averaging 25 to averaging 70. <laughs> because half the team, I mean, you mix it up and he'd hold the ball it's just, it's and create just, the... Last I checked, Donald Trump quite literally condemned the storming of the Capitol and 
pretty much all of his supporters do as far as I've seen. So no idea what point Seth MacFarlane was trying to make there, but you know, that's okay. It is what it is. Trump derangement syndrome is a very real thing. And as you can see, Bill Maher's is a mild case compared to some other people. It's really quite incredible. Notice how agitated McFarland seems to get too when Maher points out the obvious about how, you know, we should acknowledge that men are men and women are women. Also, did you see Schiff right there? He was dead silent. He tried to go in for a second, go, blah, blah, you know, just probably lost his train of thought. Not that smart of a guy, but that's okay. With all that said, guys, we really hope you enjoyed the clip. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, be sure to comment below. Let us know what you liked, what you want to see next, and we'll see you guys again soon. Thank you all, and yes, God bless.